Hey, welcome to Animation. I'm going to share a small workshop about the frames and how to interpolate them and practical uses. Set a key for rotation. At 10 frames, let's give it some value. At 20 frames, let's hold it. You can click here to create the key or click here to set the key again. This button will create the key for every timeline that is previously animated. Okay, let's on 30 frame, just pass the first frame for a loop. Um, this is what we expect. We see interpolation and then it stops, holds, and then we see interpolation back. Now let's select and try to smoothen it. I'm going to click this button and everything works fine. But check what happens when I try to move this. Right away, we will see a curve appearing for this span. If you select the key, you will see no curve appearing here. This is not a bug. I really confirm with developers. If we go to graph view, you will see what's happening here. Since the handles are connected, whatever you change here will also affect what comes next. So even though these keys share identical values, as you can see at the right here, they will still interpolate with the curve. And this sometimes makes uh, your bones to float or swim or look weird because it will animate here. And sometimes if you have very steep curves here, you really might have a um, big animation here happening. To fix this, just select this key and click linear. This will reset the curve. And let's go back. You can see now the handles are separate. I can move this one without touching the second one because this span is set to linear. If you set it again to Bezier, we will see exactly the same happening here. If you still want to have this curve, but move this handle separately, we have a nice button here. Click on it. And now if you move it, you will see only that part of the handle will be moved. And if you want to revert this effect and make the handles to be connected again, start the drag and while dragging, hold Alt. After that, you are free to release it and you will have them connected again. Note that if you click here, it doesn't separate the handles here. You can see that we have this span set to separate, but we're still moving them. This separation means that whatever you do here will happen only on this section, what you see here. It clearly will not affect anything that comes before and after. To separate them properly, you can select the key and come here and click on this button. Right away you will see the handles are changing the icon and you are free to move them separately in the graph view. Sometimes you might have the same exact rotation but one cycle off. It will look fine if it is next frame, the jump is basically one frame and unnoticeable. But if you hold shift, you will see that the bone actually rotates one cycle. So this is not something you might do intentionally and then be surprised, but it really happens sometimes. You might use the pose tool, pose them and don't notice that the bones are rotating one cycle off. To fix that, you just need to come here and see what's happening. So basically, this is one cycle off. We will still have the exact same rotation if we move it one cycle back. When I say cycle, I mean 360 degrees. So you can select the bone, set on this frame, and here you either can add 360 or minus 360. This will make sure you keep exact same rotation. However, if you really want to have that, maybe you really want some kind of long rotation and at the end, you really know that it will loop perfectly because it does two cycles. The moment you offset, you will see a problem here. Spine will say first and last frames are not matching. Even though the poses are exactly the same, they are not matching. The rotation value is different. To fix this, you can copy the first frame, pass it at the next frame, 
and this will fix the issue but here again we will have the same problem it goes two cycles off and then jumps back you might not see problem here but if you have very high fps in the game you will clearly see that if you drag with shift you will see that in one frame it really does the two cycle rotation to fix that and still have that two cycles rotation select this frame and break the interpolation this will make sure that there is no interpolation and after this it will jump to the next pose this way you can be 100 percent sure there won't be any interpolation in between those two frames and the bone will not jump and this will give us ability to offset the timeline sometimes you really want to lower the amplitude of the movement up and down or rotation whatever you really want to alter the curve if the curve is simple it starts and ends on first and last frame and has some kind of frame in the middle it's easy to fix just move this up and down but if you have all set it and you have in between frames moving this up and down will really not work out so to decrease the amplitude of the movement you can use box select select it and then make it smaller it will create an issue you just don't see where the previous one was for that before scaling it down click store this will store the curves and now you have the previous curve you can match however you want the moment you finished you can click on store again to clear it if you don't want to use the store we have a new fresh button select with box select and hold control most of the time you would like to just reduce the size by the center hold control and just reduce it you can see it decreases having the center in mind thanks to all for watching and special thanks to all these people you are the ones who always brings me back to this channel to post some new videos for you